Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondant and I'm the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. All of my books are available in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, twin flame, romance, general readings, life path and purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondenauthor.com. And don't forget to download the free twin flames affirmation meditation. The link is below. Welcome to the Divine Masculine Twin Flame Tarot Reading, Messages for Divine Masculine and Messages from Divine Masculine to their Divine Feminine Twin Flame. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you find this, it's pertinent to you in your situation, or it might be, <laughs> or part of the reading. To start, I'm going to say a blessing over the cards. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, Angels of God, Divine Masculines, Guardian Angels, let this reading be of the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, please stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Romance Angels, Twin Flame Angels, please help Twin Flames around the world understand what they need to know to learn and to grow this week so we are going to start with a tarot card this is going to be the general overall learning lesson for divine masculines whenever you find this reading so where are divine masculines at what are they learning what are they needing to learn <laughs> And we have got the Justice card. I do like this quite a lot. The, just, the Justice card is a major arcana card. If you're unfamiliar with what major arcana and minor arcana mean, I'm going to put a link right here to my video on major and minor arcana tarot. This is the Justice card. The number on this card is 11. Now, most of the tarot decks I use peg the justice card with the number eight. This has to go back to the history of tarot. And there are a few major arcana cards which tend to be inversed in numbers. But nonetheless, this card, 11, it, it, is, an, it is a number where we have one on one side and one on the other side. When we look at balancing those scales, I do feel divine masculine is learning how to be balanced, learning how to manage their energies. And this could be material energies. So when they're, we're talking about like body energies, finances, um, learning how to manage their spiritual energies, their masculine and feminine energies. But this is actually quite good. Justice is very positive. Now, for a very, 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 very few, this might be if they are in a litigation with someone, something, whatever it is. For example, if they are going through a divorce, the justice card does indicate that it's quite good news that will turn out in their favor, that things will go smoothly. But I have a feeling for a majority of the divine masculine twin flames that this is more pertinent to them balancing out their own energies. So let's get three cards, messages from the heart cards. We're gonna get three. And we are going to see where are Divine Masculine Twin Flames at on their Twin Flame journey as you watch this video. So DMs, what is your current energy when it comes to the Twin Flame trajectory in your life? the twin flame relationship in your life. We're going to have a look to see where your energies lie and for your divine feminine. Here we go. Let's get one more. One more energy DMs. DMs, where are you guys at? Okay, so I really love this because it does indicate that 
Reunion is coming. Reunion is what is wanted for DMs. Reunion is absolutely here now. It's on its way. It's basically on its way. It's like you placed your order on Amazon and it is on its way, Amazon Prime. So yes, Reunion is on its way, but the Justice card came and remember I said they're resolving things. And so here we have the card of conflict. Conflict, it says arguments, stonewalling, disagreements, division, separation, triggering, resentment, battle. The word that stuck out when I, when I first revealed this card was battle. So for those, again, that are in some sort of litigation, there's something going on in courts, there's something going on with a divorce, a separation, a custody agreement, that that is coming to an end. That's actually coming to an end. So reunion is eminent as soon as they finish with this conflict, this battle. This has nothing to do with the twin flame. This has nothing to do with their divine counterpart. This has to do with themselves. This is something going on internally, an internal battle, or it's something going on with another person. And here we have telepathy, and I do feel very strongly, we're gonna see what the message cards bring, but I do feel very strongly that if you currently are in separation with your divine masculine twin flame and you are a divine feminine, communicate. Communicate with telepathy. Communicate something nice. Open the conversation in the 5D. And if you do not know how to do this, it's something I teach in my twin flame divine feminine boot camp number one. In number one, there is a module on voluntary 5D communication. The link is below if you want to start that on demand. So Divine Masculine, what is your message to your Divine Feminines as we see this video? What are your messages, DM? DM to DF, DM to DF. Whoops, cards don't want to come out. Come on, DM, <laughs> what is your message? The cards did not want to come out there. We both have so much to learn and experience on other paths. We will always be connected though. So I do, I don't feel like this is a finality at all. I feel like this is a, we are still on other paths. We are still learning. We're connected, so connect with me in the 5D and we will come together when those lessons are done. And again, for DM, this has to do with that conflict. So let's just see, DM, what do you have to say to your DF? What do you think of me right now? What do you think of me right now? Again, I really feel that if you give your divine masculine twin flame a little bit of reassurance in the 5D communication, that will help them get through the conflict that they're needing to get through. Whether it's internal conflict or external conflict, a little bit of validation in the 5D, just saying, you know, I love you, I'm here for you, I'm ready when you are to come back into this physical reunion, it'll give them some encouragement. So DM to DF. I miss what we had in the past. I often reminisce about those times. Yeah, so I mean, reunion is definitely on their mind. It's for sure, it's on their mind. They need to seek justice within themselves. They need to seek justice in what they're dealing with with other people. And so even though they're thinking about you, they know that they need to get through this conflict first. So DM, what do you have to say to your DF? I was conditioned to hide my feelings since childhood. I was conditioned to hide my feelings since childhood. Yeah, a lot of these DMs do not know how to express their internal feelings. And so many of them come off with words that really don't resonate with how they're acting or how they're looking at you, right? So DM to DF, please. I'm so very sorry. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. DM is super, super sorry about not being able to express their feelings. 
And maybe they put you off because they couldn't express their feelings. And so they friend zoned you. They said, I'm not interested in you. I don't want to date you. I don't want a relationship with you. And a lot of that is misalignment in the sense that they did feel those things. They felt like, oh my God, this divine feminine is my person, even though they may not have known what that word was, right? This person was my person and I messed things up because I didn't know how to express my feelings. I was never taught, I was never taught to even be in touch with my feelings. I was always taught to like stuff my feelings down, push my feelings aside. And now I'm realizing how dumb that was, but in a sense, I just didn't learn. I still love you and I want us to start all over again. I still love you and I want us to start all over again. Oh my God. Like, it's interesting because with the justice card, which is also about the twin flames getting justice, we started with a reunion card. I mean, we literally started with that reunion card about the twin flame journey, and we end with a desire for reunion. So I really feel that this reading does come full circle and it does mean that reunion is very much on the mind of Divine Masculine whenever you're viewing this video and that Divine Masculine is needing to move through this conflict, find a resolution to the conflict, get some peace and serenity surrounding this situation that they're dealing with and they will. They will, because the justice card is about a favorable outcome. It's not an outcome that is stuck. It's not an outcome that is bad. It's usually a very, very favorable outcome. But if you are divine feminine watching this, I would say, please reassure your divine masculine in the 5D. Reassure your divine masculine telepathically so that they can know that you're still there you still love them, you still care about them, you're still rooting for the team. And the team is the twin flame mission, right? The twin flame journey, you're still rooting for the team. And rest assured, they will come back to you. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with others when flames. And thank you so much for your support of my YouTube channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can join a boot camp or a meditation course. You can also join my group coaching. The link is below. And I will see you in the next video.